uh, you know, I've always felt the linebackers do a good job in our system. Um, Thurm is the one, in my opinion, that's, you know, become the leader of that group. Very, very happy with Cam Judge uh, getting that uh, trade. Um, you know, he's, he's looked very comfortable in what we do and very versatile and do a lot of things. And then there's some great battles. The, the backup Canadians are looking great. Uh, we think our, our Mike linebacker position is still wide open, who, who backs up Thurm. So um, anxious to see how it plays out this game. Can you, just, oh, sorry, I was gonna say, can you expand a little bit on, on Judge? I mean, he brings a lot yeah. of experience, obviously. Yeah, didn't know him personally, but uh, we, we were high on him coming out of the draft. Obviously, he's a good player, but uh, I've been I've been actually more impressed seeing him in person. So um, I knew he's a good player. You know, he runs, he's smart, loves football, good leader, quiet. You know, he's not like he's he's a vocal guy, quiet, but uh, he, he balls. He, he goes out there and does his job, and that's, that's what we're looking for. Colton Hunchak made a couple nice plays today, and for him to go through the recovery of the offseason and be here in training camp, just... What's that say about him? Yeah, I figured he would. Um, he did start off camp excellent, and then I thought he was a little sore with his foot, and I, you know, hopefully getting that jump back as well. But uh, he's always been a reliable guy. But you're right; if he can get that extra gear and, and make some plays down the field, that'll open up uh, more opportunities for him. Do you like the battle you're seeing with your Canadian receivers right now? Yeah, I mean, I'd love to see our first round pick available. He's running now, so he's close, which is a good sign. Uh, just has to make sure to show that he can do it. Um, other than that, though, I thought Tyson Middlemost has showed up and done a nice job. Um, always, you know, I believe Richie Sandani is an underrated guy, guy that does a lot for us. And then Luther, to me, has a lot of upside. I just want to see him take those next couple steps. Dave, can you talk about the defensive line and what you've kind of seen over the last couple of days? You know, Flo is a guy who's trying to like constantly get some regular time. He's been injured over the last few years. But just what you've seen from them and, and, and Flo as well. So, yeah, I think uh, very happy um, getting T.J. Ram uh, in, in the supplemental draft. I think he's been great. Our ends, I think the battle is, is real. I think even our, our, our vets know that there's good players behind them and uh, they're pushing. I uh, don't know how it's going to play out long term on that. I'm happy with Flo, though. He's, he's always, if he stays healthy, he's always productive. Um, but I really think the battles are wide open on the outside position, and uh, this game will say a lot about it. How do you balance kind of you know getting your ones enough snaps this this game and then kind of evaluating your your battles that yep. you're talking about? So for me though, you won't see a lot of ones. So you'll uh, you'll see. So what I decided to do was kind of play more guys in the previous game at home and. You know, we got we to gotta take a road trip, and it's not like it's that long. But it's three hours on a bus, and then you play a game, and then you're back on the bus the same day, you come home, and then you only have six days for your next game, and then you got to find a place to live, and you got the stress of trying to do a new game plan. So that's, for me, I had this set up right from the get-go that uh, uh, the veteran guys were going to be, be at home. As, as much as we can suit up a team, though, we still want to go up there and have an, a solid group uh, at each position. So. It, some of the vets have to play and have to still learn that job. So uh, the guys that are kind of a, a little bit more, I guess, locked in at their position aren't going to be on the trip. And uh, the standards will still be to go play good, solid football, fundamentally sound, don't take penalties, play aggressive, and hopefully get the win.